Hello ladies and gents, we're here live from New York City and we're here to give you the latest weather updates and events. I'm Spencer Hastings and I'm Aria Montgomery. Now with the weather, it's very cloudy with a 75% chance of rain. There is a visibility of 5 miles. Later... Sorry to interrupt your show folks, I'm Dr. Yang. This just in, there's a very strange object flying over New Jersey and New York. We have no idea where it's from or why it is here. Please take precaution in case this is very dangerous. I'll keep you updated. Back to Aria and Spencer. Oh my, that's so strange. I wonder what's on it. Well, the show must go on. So I'll tell you the, web the important events now. Today is National Sea Spaceship Day, which is quite a coincidence. That may be the object that's in the air. Wait, oh no! The object landed. I repeat, the object landed. There is no way to know what's on it, but it is a spaceship. It's about 17 yards tall and about 12 yards wide. It has lights all around it and is very loud. There is voices or whispering coming from the side, but we cannot understand it. It landed in a field west of Smithville, New Jersey. Again, I'll keep you updated and I'll be back. So sorry for that. This is a terrible day. I wonder what's going to happen next. In the meantime, let's take a moment of silence for the people investigating. We need to pray for their safety. Okay, so... I'm back, and I'm here with Macy Ray. She's going to be taking over my broadcast while I investigate this strange object. Hey, y'all. I'm Macy Ray, and I'm going to be telling y'all about this accident. Oh, my gosh. What? What's wrong? This is an alien spaceship, and there's something even worse. What is it? Dr. Yang? <whistles> Dr. Yang, are you alright? Oh no. I'm scared. Dr. Yang went behind the spaceship. She hasn't been back in minutes. I'll go check. This is awful. I'm about three yards away from the spaceship. There's cages on the back of the ship with people in them. Oh. My. Gosh. Dr. Yang is in one. And the worst part, my sister Aubrey, who's been missing for at least a year, is right next to her. This is awful. I have to save them. But I don't know what to do. I have to. This is so scary. I don't know if I want to stay here anymore. Please, please, please pray for Macy. Aubrey and Dr. Yang. I'm going to help no matter what happens. Okay, time to go. Hey guys, be very quiet. I'm gonna save you, but we have to do it quick. Thank you so much, Macy. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Yes, thank you, sissy. I've missed you. Want to know where I've been? I do, and I missed you too, but we don't have time before the aliens notice that y'all are gone. Run. Run as far as you can and don't stop until you can't run anymore. Okay, I love you, but where are you going to go? Doesn't matter. I'll find a place. Now you have to go before they find us. Goodbye. Bye. Well, where will we go? I have no clue. I think there's a little cabin about a mile or two away from here. Maybe we should go there. Yes, let's go. I don't feel well, though. I think they had some gas or something in that cage. We have to make it to the cabin before I start feeling worse. Ladies and gentlemen, the president has proclaimed that all residents in the Smithsville area evacuate immediately. Thank you. We are almost to the cabin. Finally, we've been walking forever. Yeah, I know, but we're here. No! Who are you? Sorry to scare you, but we were investigating the aliens and we had to f go somewhere safe. It's fine. I was on the anyway. Dr. Yang? Are you okay? You don't look well. Aliens will rule. 
Dr. Yang? What's wrong with you? Aliens will rule. Stop! Dr. Yang, no, 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 don't push me out of the door! What did I just do? Oh no, the aliens are right outside our door. They got Dr. Yang. She's gone. There's nothing we can do about it now. No, this can't be happening. She must have gone insane from the gas she breathed in. She was put out of her misery. It was for the best. Well, you're just a Debbie Downer, aren't you? Whatever you say, let's go get some sleep. The next morning. Good morning. Morning. What are you doing? It's been nice staying here, thank you, but I must be on my way. I have to find my sister. Wow, you didn't stay long. Goodbye, Parker. Well, if anyone's still listening, I made it. I didn't die like most of them. I survived. I have no clue where my sister went, but knowing her, she goes to the places she knows. I'm at my old house. My parents must have been killed by the aliens. But if she's in here, I'll know I have something, someone left. Sissy? Is that you? Yes, I'm here to stay. Mommy and Daddy were talking about aliens. Right after I got here, I hid and they didn't find me. That's awful, but we have to go on. I'm just glad I found you. I love you. I love you too. I'm glad you're home. Me too. And we're off in three, two, one.